Mm-hmm. And I come up in, and now from here I keep the arm bent and I bring the elbow in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's tapping, and it puts the, it turns the arm this way, putting pressure on the shoulder. Okay, you all right? Nice shoulder lock. Side mount strangle. <laughs> Side mount strangle. Yeah, stay there for now. Turn this way. Okay, kind of tricky, but basically I'm here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is reach underneath here this way. I'm going to grab right here, right there. This hand, I want to come in inside the key here. Grab deep, okay? I'm going to pull this here and come down across the throat with this. Okay? Sorry. Arm bar from knee on stomach. Well, I'm barking your stomach. There's so many, <laughs> so many rocks that you can do. But right here, again, I can scoop up to here. And I keep, I step around all the way, keeping this knee tight. And I go right to a normal arm bar, okay? Or I can be here, I can scoop up, bring it up here, and I come right here. And this is an arm press. Now I have the elbow here. See the elbow right there. Uh, pressing it into this open space. Mm -hmm. I can also be back this way sometimes. Sometimes I can step all the way over and sit back to here. <coughs> Transition from triangle choke to arm bar. Okay. This sport zone. <laughs> okay. Ah. However it's gonna happen, I get them off balance, whatever. I come into triangle. But let's say it's keeping me stacked up or whatever. Man, I just can't get my foot locked. I can't get my feet. I can't get the back of this knee on top of this foot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition. I'm going to take this foot out and say, ah, forget about it. Put it over the head. And now I got the arm bar. Yeah. So if you can't get the triangle choke, you can switch to the arm bar. Stacking the guard to ankle lock. <laughs> That's kind of like what I did before. Go through your ABC so his feet are apart. And then I'm going to stack up the guard however I'm doing it. Okay, and I'm in here. Now from this position here, I can grab the foot. And I can't. I can't crank. Okay, here. I can't crank. Mm -hmm. Makes it difficult. I can come around here. I can't crank. Yeah. Okay. Basically, we're looking at uh, all different variations of figure four locks from there. It can also be <coughs> from a 69 position. Yeah. Hey, he tries to, to shove my hips back and bring his feet up into my, in here. Okay. Not to, I can't get pounded on, but I'm right here. Same thing. I can say, oh, aha. And grab the foot here. Underneath. It's a figure four lock on the ankle. Knee bar from inside guard. Knee bar from the inside guard. Another good example of just using the drills that we do all the time, like the arm bar drill. You're going back and forth. You use the exact same motion for this. He stands up, my guard. I'm going to hook underneath, and I use that same turning motion. As I come, notice this foot here. Here we keep. This foot here turns, so my knee is angling down. Turn all the way around sideways. Let's go around this way. This can never can see. There you go. I'm here. As I, as I hook, as I turn, this comes here. And I just continue to turn over all the way until I'm here. Uh-huh. Move the arm bar. Of the leg bar. <coughs> Spider guard feet and arm sweep. Alright. This is a closed guard. Okay. This is an open guard. All my feet are, are, are connected. However, I'm using it. Okay. If I go here, feet to hips, I got the arms. Now I have what we call spider guard. Okay. The spider guard position, 
I can go lots of different places. I might go here, this way, this way, and I have a, I can get him here, and I can basically, I can bring him here and sweep. You can sweep him over. What else? What's next? Spider guard hip sweep. Spider guard hip sweep. Okay. Spider guard hip sweep. I'm in here. Spider guard, whatever. I'm going to take this foot that's on the hips and I'm pulling the arms here. I'm pushing the hips all the time, nice and tight. Raise up. Now watch how I turn my foot. I'm going to turn this foot this way. It's like I'm side kicking in there. Okay? Like a side kick. Switch my grip. Grab behind the heel. Right? This leg is going to go here and scissor. As I push here, this leg scissor here. So I go. Charge it up. Charge up. Okay? I'm trying to get a good position. Spider guard scissor sweep. Same kind of thing. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm here. I'm going to switch my grips, grab the heel, and this leg's going to hook around behind this leg, raise up tight. Make sure it's all the way up. See how I hook my foot? Right there. All the way around. Tight. This way. Now, this is the hold in here nice and tight. It's a nice tight position. Pull around a little bit. Yeah. Okay, he's off balance there. What I'm going to do is put this foot up here, the leg, hook this one behind, and just push. Uh-huh. And he's down. And I, of course, I follow up on top. Try to get a good position. Side mount, arm bar. Side mount, arm bar. That's kind of simplistic because it's a good side mount. There's so many you can do. You make side mounted however I am, okay? This is fine. I can come here, grab this way, okay? Mm -hmm. What I'll do is I'm going to push my hips, put this knee over the head, hold his head down. Tap. Mm -hmm. That's that. There's one there. I can have his arm up this way. I can have this, okay? This way, he can straighten his arm out. Maybe it's really powerful. He straightens it out. Now I push down with this hand this way, and this elbow I just roll up. So here, I roll. I roll. He could be here, this way. I can step over the head, here. I extend my head down towards his butt, so I straighten his arm out. And now I remember the arm press where I just pulled it into the empty space. Here's his elbow, right here. I want to hyperextend the elbow. I come here, thrust my shoulder forward, and I pull his arm into my empty space right here. So just a variation of the arm press. Okay. Another variation to the arm press. Then I can come underneath. I can hook here. Okay. I can step up to here. Arm press. I can sit back here. Arm press. Okay. Lots of things, lots of ways you can go with the arm bars. You can go this way too. I think this is what I was thinking of actually for this technique. What you see. He's got me. I'm going to grab my D. Right here, make it nice and tight. Turn the head, step over, and go all the way around behind. As I start spinning over the head, I'm turning him sideways. And I just keep on, keep on turning all the way. So I go around to the arm bar. What's next? That's it for a